G-Force! Never was a truer word spoken when they said don't work with animals. And if you, I would like to add to that, never work with guinea pigs. I mean, you know, I mean, there's no reason why I should keep this like some kind of secret. They were a nightmare. They are worse than any actor, any human being I've ever done business with. They always want more, and, uh, and they're late. They always oversleep. I don't know what they do. They go out, you know, clubbing till four in the morning. Um, they're deeply unprofessional. Well, I'm not here to name names, but Juarez <laughs> uh, needs a little talking to. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, she was always complaining. There was nothing, no, nothing was ever quite good enough for her. You know, the set was never quiet enough. I was never apparently good enough. Um, you know, her transportation was always a problem. The hotel was never, she was always changing her room. And she must have changed her hotel room, I don't know, a dozen times. And that takes time, you know, and it takes up people's time. She was just like a complete burden on the whole enterprise. You know, my trailer was like, you know, it was minuscule compared to the average guinea pig trailer. I mean, they had, I mean, you know, let's face it, they're nine inches tall. How big does the trailer have to be? Do you know what I'm saying? They had trailers the size of small countries. Like one of them, like Blaster had three trailers. One of them apparently was a gymnasium. I didn't even know that guinea pigs had to work out. They had so much ordnance and so much territory, it was embarrassing, particularly for me. I looked like I was the man at the gate. It was just bad. Yo, cameraman, come closer. <clears throat> yes, you, hombre. Oh, don't be scared. I don't bite. <clears throat> I never said anything about kicking.